Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kazoo here, and welcome to episode 36 of Skill into Glory. And uh, we're going to start off by actually changing something from the previous episode because, as you may know, we apparently got Man of the Match with Vitinho, which is awesome because now we actually completed that challenge as well. Uh, yesterday, I actually didn't know that, like, as soon as you see a football right next to the Nama that they usually get, uh, it means that they basically get Man of the Match, which I didn't know, as I said. So, um, yeah, we move on now. We go into the first game. We applied a attribute card to Vitinho because when we ended off uh, the previous episode we actually got a rage quit i do believe so we applied that one to vitinho and now uh, we go into the first game of this episode where we come against a brazilian team also a one five star skiller that is douglas costa as a striker and now uh, we start things off with tosic we cut inside with the spin and then it is david luis with a slide tackle and after 11 minutes he already got him sent off it was it was a straight red card wasn't really too sure if it was a red card or not because you can see that he didn't really hit me that properly but it was from behind and usually that is a red card so um, yeah we stepped upward with Vitinho and now uh, we picked up his 8th goal to give us the lead then uh, we're in the 22nd minute it is once again Vitinho on the ball nice rainbow flick I was hoping for a volley but his goalkeeper just managed to save it then uh, we're in the 27th minute we have uh, Frank Ribery on the wing there we cut inside with a nice body feint and now uh, we go with a lovely roulette and once again we get felt and if we look at the top left again he got a player send off a straight red card I was really really confused because like that was no way near a red card. It, it obviously was a penalty, but a straight red card that I think was a little bit too harsh. Um, my opponent decided to rage quit at the very end because he obviously had uh, like nine players left, which obviously is uh, is not really uh, not really too fun to play since uh, we were still like in the 30th minute or so. So he decided to rage quit. Again, we apply the attribute card to Vitinho and we go into the next game where we came up against a Turkish league side. Um, I haven't really played against these teams, I guess. So it was basically the first time coming up against a Turkish team. And uh, we start off pretty well in the eighth minute. A lovely goal there from Vitinho, where we pick up his ninth goal in total and also the fifth skill goal. Then uh, we're in the 12th minute. This is uh, my opponent there on the ball with Felipe Melo. Plays it through to Emanike. I couldn't catch up with my defender, Simon. And um, yeah, he makes it one on a shot across goal to get him back into the game. Then only a few minutes later, pretty much a replica like from the from the goal he scored earlier. Again, Emanike and again a shot across goal. So within uh, a few minutes, uh, he got himself two goals back and actually gave himself the lead then uh, we're in the 31st minute we have uh, Frankie Rory on the ball there we cross it over to Witzel we go with a header then we go with some sort of a bicycle kick with Tosic but it completely went off target so uh, we go into the second half he passes it over to Emanike, a ridiculous through ball. I couldn't really do anything. And uh, he picks up his third goal, completes his hat-trick. And on top of that, he also decides to search me just like a complete dickhead. That is, uh, that is what you are, in my opinion. At least uh, if that is the way you play FIFA, basically just to rub it in into your opponent, then you're, in my opinion anyway, just a complete dickhead. But um, yeah, we got a goal back with Ribery to make it 3-2. Not the nicest goal. But obviously, since, uh, since my opponent was somewhat annoying me, I figured I would kind of change my play style because I obviously didn't want to lose it game then the 86 minute we got another goal back with Ribery a nice header there at the near post to uh, to make it all even but then like the, the, the most annoying thing happened in the 90th minute you can you can guess it already he got through with MNEK and he actually makes it 4-3 in the 90th minute and again he went with the sus celebration to make it even more annoying and then I thought I had one more chance but then the freaking referee decided to blow on his whistle right when we went through with Riri, I, I seriously couldn't believe it. You can see from the stats, like, he was not even dominating me, but still he kind of react, or at least he, he thought he was, I guess, at least the way he celebrated. But, um, yeah, I think it could have gone either way. He got himself the uh, delayed winner, which, uh, as I said, could have gone either way. So we go into the next game. We uh, we basically came up against a full Borussia Dortmund team in the 3-5-2 formation, I do believe, with also Oscar as a center attacking mid. And we start off in the second minute. We got Ribery on the ball, a few skim moves, and we already picked up a penalty again. I don't know if it was a penalty or not, but um, yeah, we stopped up for it with, uh, with Vitinho and uh, we slotted home to actually pick up his, uh, his 10th goal and uh, complete a challenge as well, which is pretty nice. Then uh, we're in the 25th minute and some nice stuff there from Vitinho. We play it off to Roberto Firmino. His goalkeeper was all of a sudden rushing out, so I decided to go with a Rabona shot, but he got cleared off the line. Then we got another attempt with, I think, uh, Axel Witzel, but once again, it got cleared off the line. So uh, two big chances, but unfortunately not the second goal. Then the 35th minute, we got past the goalkeeper. We, uh, we went for at least... I tried to go with a Rabona shot, but his defender just blocked it off. So uh, we picked up a corner. We played it off short to Firmino. We go on a short skill run. We uh, we took the shot at the near post, but his goalkeeper would save it uh, right there. Then 
now. We move on into the second half. We have Frank Ribery on the ball. A lovely running uh, running fake drag back. We cross it over to Vitinho. Was hoping for something fancy, but it just ended up being, uh, being a header. But still, we uh, we do kind of count it as a skill goal because uh, there was some really, really nice stuff from Ribery. So uh, we picked up another skill goal and we make it 2-0. Then uh, we're in the 55th minute. We have Ribery on the ball once again. We go on a really, really nice skill run. A lovely roulette to a spin to a uh, lovely ball roll flick. We went with the shot there where this left foot put his goalkeeper saved it and uh, we're in the 89th minute basically the final chance of the game we got the ball with Vitinho a lovely ball roll we went with another ball roll then uh, we went with a lovely sort of a drag back a Rabona shot on target but it went way too high and his uh, goalkeeper saved it quite easily so uh, we ended up winning that game 2-0 I think we actually got a man of the match with Ribéry and with Vitinho as well which is pretty nice so um, yeah we move on in the final game of this episode and we come up against a subscriber who seriously had a ridiculous Ridiculous team in the 4 3 2 1 formation. He had team of the year Cristiano Ronaldo, Benzema, Bale. He had team of the year Kroos, Yaya Toure, Lam. You can see it on your screen basically. Just a ridiculous team. So, um, this was going to be a real world challenge, especially playing against a team like that with uh, with the kind of team I had. So, um, yeah, we get the start off. A nice save there from Loris in the 35th minute after my opponent crossed it in. Then uh, we pick it up here with Frankie Berry. We went on a nice little skill run. We got past two defenders who actually ended up running into each other. Uh, we got past Scrolls, some lovely uh, footwork there from Ribery where we go inside the box and we finish it off at the near post to uh, to pick up the seventh uh, skill goal and also make it 1-0. Not really too sure what his goalkeeper was doing but um, anyway that was pretty much the first half. You can see it from the stats. Uh, we were somewhat dominating my opponent at, uh, had a few shots but none of them were on target. Then uh, into the second half he basically got his first proper chance with Gerard Bill but then look at that for a save from Lloris. Uh, he was pretty bad for me in the previous episode but this game he was absolutely amazing for me then in the 68th minute he got another big chance there this time with Gareth Bale just went wide the post a nice shot across goal then uh, we're in the 69th minute from the goal kick pretty much we uh, we had the ball with Vitinho we play it off to Frank Ribery a nice uh, nice fake shot to create some space we chip it over back to Vitinho we went uh, with a bit of a volley and we make it 2-0 to uh, to actually extend the lead which was really really nice uh, even though my opponent had some uh, chances some big chances in the second half as well he, uh, he didn't know how to finish off his chances once again an amazing save there from Lloris and uh, yeah we pretty much had the same uh, kind of problem in the previous episode which is really annoying but uh, then in the 84th minute actually he picks the ball away with Benzema cross it over to Cristiano Ronaldo who wins the header there at the far post to make it 2-1 and uh, give himself the goal back then uh, we're in the 90th minute we, uh, we have the ball with Frank Ribery a lovely fake shot to beat two defenders we cross it over to Kishna who I decide to sub on but his goalkeeper would uh, would say that really nice header from him so uh, we ended up winning the game with 2-1 to um, I think we had a few more shots as well which I to be honest did not expect when I went into this game I, I expected to to get destroyed basically since his team was pretty amazing but nevertheless we move on to the skillers up uh, I think we're on 11 goals with Vitinho which is pretty awesome and uh, you can see it from the challenges as well so far we've completed three challenges and now uh, we need uh, three more to go basically so hopefully in the next episode we can maybe get a two more or maybe three more even uh, completed and then uh, we move on obviously to the next five star skiller so uh, yeah guys that's going to be the end of this video hope you enjoyed it if you did then make sure to leave a like would be very much appreciated and if you can hit 2,000 likes, that would be absolutely awesome. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.